Aiden and Bessie's, we're going book shopping. <laughs> Hello friends, it's Mackenzie and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then hi, welcome. I'm Mackenzie and I'm just a girl who loves books. I love reading books, posting about books, falling in love with fictional characters, and buying books, which is what we're gonna do today. It's the start of a new year and I know a lot of people are in book buying bands right now, but we're gonna be doing the opposite of that today because we're gonna go to the bookstore. I'm basically gonna be taking you guys on a little date with me to Barnes & Noble. We're gonna browse the books, see what's new, and hopefully find some books to buy. Now, do I have an endless amount of books on my physical TBR? Yes, but it has been so long since I've been inside a bookstore. And I feel like the introvert girlies are with me here because I just hate leaving the house. It is freezing outside and it's super windy. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind, but since it's a really cold day and it might be snowing later, what better way to spend the day than doing a cozy little trip to Barnes & Noble? It's 9.45 a.m. right now and I forgot that it's Sunday and Barnes & Noble doesn't open until 10 a.m. But one thing about me is that I will be the first person in the store when it opens up just because I hate when there's other people around and I have a fear of filming in public so we shall see how today goes. I normally have a list of books that I want to buy before I go into Barnes & Noble but today I have no list which could either be a good thing or a bad thing because I'm either going to be overwhelmed since I don't have a list or I'm just going to end up buying a bunch of books. The only book I have on my mind buying right now is The Atlas Six Paradox and the third book. I believe the third book just came out. I think it's called The Atlas Six complex or com complete complex honestly i have no idea but i read the atlas six years ago and i gave it three stars i did really enjoy it i loved the characters but it was so confusing i've also seen mixed reviews on the second and third book so i don't know if i should continue the series or not so i'm a little hesitant to buy them but if you have read the atlas six let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and if i should continue the series or not if you guys are interested in seeing more bookstore vlogs then make sure you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos all right enough of me talking let's just head over to barnes noble all right so i just parked at barnes why am i so nervous Let's just go inside and see what we can find. Sick of waiting for the right word to come to me. Feels like I'm wasting time away. Well, she's got her hair up top in a messy bun. A thousand flyaways astray. Of her golden crown that no one's meant to see. There's nobody else underneath. It's not that I feel ashamed, it's just anxiety. It's got the best of me. A ladder with a thousand rungs. I never claimed to know how it ought to be But that don't mean I ain't got thoughts But when the sun comes down She takes
lights of a golden crown that no one's meant to see. There's nobody else She said it never even occurred to me That I could be anything but fine It's not like we've been left out romantically It's always the wrong place, wrong time Alright besties, we are at the second Barnes Noble. Um, the first one wasn't too bad. I actually was able to film in public, so round of applause for me. That's just something that I've always been terrified to do. Um, I didn't get too many clips though. I'm still a little nervous to film just because I hate when like people walk by and then I'm like, oh my gosh. Like they're definitely seeing me film, but it honestly doesn't really matter that much. I only bought two books at the first Barnes Noble. I'll show you guys at the end of this video all the books that I do get. They did have some good options. I just but didn't know what to buy. I was just getting a little overwhelmed, so I was like, okay, let's just go to another Barnes Noble and we'll see what they have here. <laughs>
like flying away out there. But all right, besties, I am back. It was a long time, but I got some goodies. I ended up going to two different Barnes and Nobles just to see if they had different books. Honestly, it was kind of pointless because they had the same books, but I will say I definitely got more clips and I felt a lot more comfortable in the second Barnes & Noble, so I'm happy I went to two. And guys, I'm so proud of myself because I actually filmed in public. It's been so long since I've actually tried filming in public. I know it can be so terrifying, but once you do it, it's not even that big of a deal. Like, most people don't care or don't notice. And if someone does or like says something to you, then that's just weird. I was in there for so long, but I honestly had so much fun going by myself. I know that doing things alone can be intimidating and it's definitely something I want to get better at this year. I want to take myself on little book dates. I ended up buying four books, which I feel like is pretty good. So now it is time for a mini book haul. So I ended up not buying the Atlas 6 just because I'm hesitant on whether or not I should continue the series. So I was like, why am I going to buy these books if I'm not even sure if I'm going to read them or not? All right, so here are the four books I ended up buying. And aren't they just so pretty? I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So the first book I bought is Check and Made by Allie Hazelwood. I've been wanting to read this for a while. And guys, the cover, I'm obsessed. It is so cute. This is a YA romance. I've read other books by Allie Hazelwood and absolutely love them. A lot of my friends on Bookstagram have read this book and have rated it highly. I'm literally just in a parking lot near my house so that I can talk and show you guys the books. And of course, this car just like pulls up next to me. Like, what are you doing? Am I about to get kidnapped right now? I'm really excited to read this because I know that there are a lot of chess references in this book and I've been wanting to learn how to play chess for so long. I believe both the main characters are chess players and they might be rivals so I think there might be an enemies to lovers trope in this which I love. Also the inside of this book is adorable. I love when books just have like little details on them. I think the design of this book was perfect. Like, I'm just so obsessed. I think I'm going to wait to read this book closer to Valentine's Day in February just because I really want to put together a reading vlog where I only read romance books for an entire week and I feel like this is going to be the perfect book for that video. On the front of the cover, it says the perfect rivals to lovers romance and I'm just a sucker for a rivals to lovers trope. So I'm really excited to read this. And then guys, I am so excited to show you the next three books. They all go together and they are a collector's edition. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So the first one is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. And just look at this cover. Tell me it isn't the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. And if you think the outside is gorgeous, just wait until you see the inside. Like, come on now. This literally looks like a wallpaper. I am so in love with this book. I read Pride and Prejudice years ago in high school, and I've really been wanting to reread it. So when I saw this on the table for a collector's edition, I was like, you know what? I just have to have it. So I got Pride and Prejudice, and then I decided to buy Persuasion, and then I decided to buy Emma. So this is Emma, and she is just gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this purple like lilac color that's going on, and then the edges are sprayed pink. And then we have Little Persuasion over here, and she's also gorgeous. Now this one you can't really tell. I think the sprayed edges might be gray. I haven't read Persuasion or Emma yet, but both of them have been on my TBR. Like just look at these. Aren't they just stunning? I just couldn't refuse it. When I saw this first one on the collector's edition and then I saw these two, I was like, you know what? I just have to collect them all. And all three of them have sprayed edges, which has been my new obsession recently. One of the reasons why I decided to buy these books is because I want to get a new bookshelf and I really want to just buy pretty fancy books that I can display on my bookshelf. Just look at this. Like these are going to look absolutely stunning on my bookcase. And since I was in Barnes & Noble and I couldn't really decide on what books to buy, I was like, you know what? What better way to start my book collection now? So I'm really happy that I decided to buy these. And I can't wait to finally dive into more of Jane Austen's books. So that brings us to the end of this video and all the books that I bought today. My camera ended up dying, but I just want to say I had so much fun today bringing you guys along with me for our little Barnes & Noble date. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you haven't made it this far, comment your favorite pink emoji. As always, be sure to follow me on my book talk and my bookstagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.